Hi everyone, Samus David here with another Fresh Bread. Real excited to be with you and um, sharing, you, uh, sharing with you a word of inspiration and then some music. And just want you to be blessed today as you go about your day. Uh, we're going to look at Psalm 49 this time. Um, it's a psalm, uh, it's a po po poetic song actually written by the sons of Korah, um, Korah's clan. And I, I like how it's read in the Passion tra Translation. And I just want to um, read the first few verses there. It says, listen one and all, both rich and poor together all over the world. Listen, <coughs> everyone, to what I have to say. And I'm, I felt this psalm is speaking to, to us today there are several things that I, I think we're, we're facing now which they were facing then and I think it's relevant uh, listen to what I have to say for wisdom will come from my mouth words of insight and understanding will be heard from the musings of my heart he says I will break open mysteries with my music and my song will release riddles Solved. Another um, version says, uh, I will disclose my dark saying on the harp. There's no reason to fear when troubling times come. And this is what I feel is so um, relevant to us. So there's no reason to fear when troubling times come, even when you're surrounded with problems and persecutors who chase at your heels. They trust in their treasures and boast in their riches, yet not one of them, though rich as a king, could rescue his own brother from the guilt of his sins. No one could give God the ransom price for the soul of another, let alone for himself. Do we understand that? A soul's redemption is too costly and precious for anyone to pay with earthly wealth. The price to pay is never enough to purchase eternal life for even one to keep them out of hell. The brightest and best along with the foolish and senseless. God sees that they will all die one day, leaving their houses and wealth to others. Even though they name streets and lands after themselves, hoping to have their memory endure beyond the grave, becoming legends in their own minds. Their home address is now the cemetery. A lot of people in our time that they want to exalt themselves. The Lord is King. The Lord, He is the Lord. He has redeemed us by His Son, giving His Son, and He's paid the ransom price, and we're so grateful for His redemption. Others are, are not so. He says that the honor of man is short-lived and fleeting. There's little difference between man and beast, for both will one day perish. Such is the path of foolish men and those who quote everything they say, for they are here today and gone tomorrow. A sila moment.
you for redeeming me, O oh God. You bought me with your precious blood. Now I am saved. My soul is redeemed. And I give you praise with my life. I give you praise with my being. Jesus, this heart of gratitude today that the Lord has spared us, saved us, redeemed us. We have a future with him. Go in grace today and thanksgiving. Amen.